Okay. Quick, uh... Hello? Hello? Testing, one, two? <laughs> but you. Don't worry. We're making something you've never made before. Yeah. On mm. television. Yeah, but, you know. Very well. I think Greg's pasties are fine. I'm gonna slice your face off. Shame. It smells a bit weird, actually. <laughs> Welcome back to John's Kitchen. Omer's kitchen that John's just appropriated. I mean, it's, it's our kitchen, I would say. What's your visa status in Singapore, John? Legal, which is quite good for me. Won't be so. for long. Won't be for long, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Today, Omer is going to take the lead. Terrifying prospect, I know. What are we making today? I'm your sous chef. Well, my culturally inappropriate friend. Today we are going to make shami kebabs. Not your normal seat kebab, definitely not a donner. It's I not bet. a donner? It's not a donner, sorry. There's sorry, no that's not what I signed up for. There's no mayo or ketchup inside. Just a word of warning, I've never made this before, so... Uh, We're making something you've never made before? Yeah. On so, uh, yeah. television? Yeah, but, you know, I'm a good cook, so it'll be good. Bodes well. We have our chicken here. We also have some lentils that have been soaked in water for quite a while. And then we've got eggs to keep the mixture together, and then spices, your chili powder, uh, cumin, black pepper, salt, and some garlic and ginger. We can put- Why have we got mint? For the chutney later, so Ooh. that's the accompanying sauce. Yum. So, my little helper, you can, tu puedes aliviarte con el uh, jicambre. Si. Me, me entiendes? Si, entiendo. Mash up the mint, rub it all over your face. Ciao. It's very simple, so it's basically like a burger, like a chicken burger, not a typical Is it not on a kebab. skewer? No, it's not on a skewer. What, what makes it a kebab then? What? Or are we making chicken burgers? Look, don't you be culturally inappropriating my food. <laughs> inappropriating. Right. That's what you do with me and my pasties. For viewers who aren't familiar, John's quite sensitive about um, this. Cornish culture. Yes. <laughs> a chain of shops in the UK called Greg's that do pasties pretty well. Got a knife. And so I think Greg's pasties are fine. I'm pretty sure they're as on par as Cornish pasties. The knife's not good enough. So, um, <laughs> I'm getting know. the Wesley thing. I'm gonna slice your face off. Are you gonna judge the... Or are you just gonna... Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> using his tears as lube. So, we're gonna start frying the garlic with some of the spices and the dal. I'm only adding a little bit of dal. Uh, don't know you how- say, it's, You say dal, this is lentils. Lentils, right? lentils. I'm not sure how this will play out with this type, so. So these are red lentils. Red lentils, yeah. Night, dried red lentils. Yeah. And the cumin, I like cumin a lot, so I put quite a lot in. Some black pepper. And then some salt. Let's add the chicken and then we're gonna basically um, add a bit of water so it cooks a bit better and evaporate the water off to make a drier paste or mixture. So is this work with. like you've made a curry paste? It's almost and like a curry paste. Lentils, with dal. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Are you gonna do anything with the chicken or are you just throwing it in? No, I'm just throwing it in. Lobbing it straight in? Yeah, with the paper as well. With the paper? Yeah. I'm not paying attention because someone's disturbing me. Very inexperienced in the kitchen, see? It's improving. Unlike you, he's super experienced. Well, I think you're getting better at many aspects of life, thanks to me. Musical, like what? Musical intuition. So today we're going to be taking a musical IQ test. If you're from a culture who hasn't adapted 12 tone equal temperament yes, to your music, like me. Your ability to <laughs> yeah, they don't have 12, 12 tone equal temperament in Manchester. Same from someone who's brought up on a 90s society trance. No, I wasn't! I will begin the main test. Dancing skills. I've actually been on YouTube. Brown watch. Stealing yogurts. <laughs> now, let's add some water. So that should be enough Yum. water now to cook the chicken and the dal. Because all we're doing at the end is basically making this mixture, cook it well through and then make patties and just quickly pan fry them. So you want to cook this really well. That's quite a lot of water you've got, no? Yeah. 
Yeah, you'll cook it well though. He's moisted it. This is an apt word because uh, this wonderful specimen you see in front of you. Uh, his uh, 15 minutes of fame amounted to one episode of Countdown. It's in okay, front John. of Des Lyman, it's okay, John. he presented the word. I was on a British game Most show stiff. called Countdown in 2006 and I was a young lad, so... It's not that young. Um, how old? I was 24, I was very young. I'm God, I was only like eight then. You were 20 on your gap yard around India wearing hippie clothes, okay? Culturally inappropriate person. <laughs> Yeah. It's true. But we're going to boil off all the water so it's a bit dry and then we'll uh, blend it and make it into a thicker paste. Is that my drink? No, this is... I wouldn't do that to you. This is my drink! I would do that to you. <laughs> so, we've got the chicken mix now. It's all pretty cooked, well cooked, dehydrated. It's looking good. It smells good. It smells amazing. The lentils are cooked, which is important. Do you want to be my guinea pig and yeah. taste the mixture? See how the spice level is and everything. And, oh what's the God, verdict? Good. Chili's good. Mm. Salt. Cumin. It's really good, mate. All right, then we're happy. Oh. Yeah. So what we're gonna do Spicy is and curry and put this into the blender and make it into a. Juice it. We add a, two eggs just to make it a bit creamier the mixture, and then we're ready to go. And he had a massive thing hanging out his ass. So. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yum. That looks really good. Oh shit, that's really hot. <laughs> okay, let's give it a bit of time to get calm, cool down. Well thought out that was. He's a master chef, this one. So in the meantime, we can make um, a mint chutney. Very, very easy. Just take some mint leaves, pulverize them or grind them up. A little helper, do you want to get the yogurt? <laughs> well, I'm a teacher, really. How you've learned from me. Really, what have I learned from you? Well, you know, musical IQ. <laughs> okay, How to walk down a volcano. You're just so vulnerable. <laughs> Next time you see us on a volcano, we'll be racing and I'll push him down. Uh, this, is, this is Omer racing a vo volcano. Oh, a bit slippery. I had bad shoes. My shoes had no grip. No. Just try and keep it in the hole. Can you get it in the hole? In, the fist. in and out, in and out. So we've got the pureed mint, grounded mint. Add that to yogurt, mix it all around. Very, very simple mint chutney. So, Is start. that a chutney? Yeah, very, very, or like a raita. Raita. Well, I call you, it chutney. Do you call it chutney? I call it mint chutney, yeah. Mango chutney. Mango, mango chutney. Minty, minty chutney. So now, uh, the patties are ready to be made. A round dish. And then what are we doing? Are we egging it. We'll egg it in a bit. Let's just oh. lay it out. The last step, we're gonna dip them in egg uh, to coat them, give them a bit of a bind, and then we're gonna pan fry them, and that's it. Time for them to go in. Lob it in. Ooh, that's looking good. We're good to go. Yeah. All right, so we play. Look at that. Okay, so here are the final products. We've got our final product, the shami kebabs. We've got the mint chutney here. And earlier on, didn't show making this, is tamarind, uh, tamarind dip. So basically you can get dried tamarind from the shops, boil it with some sugar and let it reduce. And then you pulverize it and then drain it out. And that's the final product. The tamarind is quite um, sour and sweet. It's a good contrast to the mint chutney. So I think all that's left is to eat this good stuff. Mmm. Mm. Mum, this is really good. I think I can cook better shamis than you can, Mum. Ooh. Risky business, that. But we can try some chutney, mm. mint, mint chutney. Ooh, they're really hot as well. Yeah, it's, it's actually, it's not dry at all. It does, it's not like a burger, it's different, mm -hmm. isn't it? Because you've got the spice, the cumin, a little bit of chilli. What, you're gonna put it, no, don't put them together. Why not? Uh-uh. You don't never do never do that. I do. Such a pikey. Mmm. Oh yeah, because that's sour, isn't it? Mm. That's that a really good combo. 
like the creamy minty sourness and then spicy like curry chicken flavor. This is good. Mm. Well, good job, mate. Well, so thank guess, you, John. Next week is um, me in charge again. No, what do you think, guys? We had John's chicken fish week one. I know what we can do. We've had me chick with the shami kebab. We have a vote. For anyone who managed to get through to this far in this video, which is quite impressive. Please vote who should choose the menu and the uh, be the lead for the next one. Yeah, who leads and also suggest a dish. Mm. Feel free to suggest dishes, <clears throat> anything. And we'll take one of your suggestions. Something simple. And then we'll mess it up. Do you want that one? This is my food, no, go away. Just checking. This is on camera. <laughs>